Go take care of business. Good evening, Kimberly. Hello. Y'all, my... The molds are not dry. I mean, they are, like, pliable wet. I even put a coat of paint on them because watching me paint is not a good time, and you got to kind of be careful around the edges, and it's going to need another coat. But, you know, I can still stick my finger on them. So we're going to have to do these the next live. Um, I could do wax on them. This is what we just did on Facebook a couple hours ago. Um, these are going to go on my laundry room, which is a shed <laughs> outside. Um, these are the uh, hollow... Uh, can't remember the hollow what the heck's the name of this mold i don't can't remember the mushroom mold and um the fairy doors hollow good lord my brain's dead i can't even think of the toadstools is the mushroom and i don't know anyways they're stinking adorable they're gonna be cute once we put some wax on and we can we could um even though they're still wet but i like to get down in there and get you know get my wax all in the low spots so i'm crooked straight i don't know what's going on so i want to make some patio cushions the ones we have now are like they're spent or <laughs> fun guy i'm a fun guy oh i'm not a guy i'm a, I'm a fun guy i'm i'm a fun gal um two of them are ugly as sin um i do have some f um i only bought a yard i think i bought a yard so our mobile home is white and the shutters and the metal roof are like a, a red like a deep like republic red like that almost bird like a bar um like a barn red really pretty red because i don't like red so it's like a it's a, um, so I have a yard of that coming tomorrow and I just, I just want to see what the fact, you know, I couldn't feel it or anything. You're just watching replay. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for being here. I would have came on earlier, but there's other people live. And then my husband was watching TV. It's freezing out. I felt bad for him and he's in the living room, which he never is. So I don't know if he probably could watch TV while I'm live, but I don't want to take that chance just because we're still using Starlink. But fibers around the corner, so yay. All right, so um, I've had these, I have two of each. I got a se two 17 inches and two 18 inches. They're different, um, they're different. They're different like materials. So I don't know how they're gonna do. They're gonna go outdoors. Um, if I were to really worry about these, I know for certain that um, the Pentart textile um, varnishing glue if I, if I went that whole route, hey, Claudia, then I could totally um, wash these, no problem. But I'm not really that concerned. I mean, we get dirty outside, whatever. But the pillows that have been out there, they're, one of them's lighter than this. And I mean, it's beat, but it's been, it's been like eight years. So I have this fabric Mod Podge. You ever, stuff, you ever use this stuff? It's like, it's so thick. It's like putty, uh, like thicker than mayonnaise. So I'm just going to coat them in this. Um, so it's not a big deal. Um, M.A. I got everybody all in good names. Hello. Thanks for being here. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm curious to see where the heck did I get these? I don't even know where I got these. I think it might have been. Dang, I can't remember now. I don't know if it was one time pottery, old time pottery. I always say one time um, because I wanted to see the price. The price of this one's $5.49. This was $9.99. Um, just and this one's bigger. But obviously it's the, it's the fabrics so i don't know i don't even know how the inking will do on these fabrics but well this thing like cardboard <laughs> this is not a good fabric at all you can just tell it's like oh i should have ironed these yeah well that's not happening <laughs> uh i'm so happy you caught me live too ufo 1947 productions <laughs> all right oh goodness so y'all my husband rocks you know it's just I, I don't know what that is. That's already there, and we're using red, so that's perfect. <laughs> oh, it's fuzz. Um, man, I just like to know somebody would do anything for you at any time. It's just you know, I, I don't know. I'm a very lucky gal, and I know this. And but he made corn. He made corned beef yesterday in the crock pot. He made corned beef, potatoes, um, carrots, and corn on the cobs. Uh, first time commenting on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. It's, you know, so far the experience has been nice. I appreciate a lot of you. I know technology, we all struggle with it. And a lot of you have been going outside your box to, uh, to, to get here. So that really means a lot to me. So thank you for that. Um, I'm hoping our experience here, we can build, this is much better material. There's definitely a, a $6 and $10 difference, no doubt. Um, this one's probably going to ink much nicer than this. You can see the tag through this one. This one's nice and thick. Um, so yeah, big difference, but that's okay because they're going outside. Um, 
So, and corn in the, in the crock pot for like five hours. Oh, so good. So good. Um, and then to my, one of my favorite sandwiches is a Reuben. So he had um, leftover Reuben, obviously. I mean, leftover corned beef. I'm going to put a piece of parchment in between this because this will probably go through my whole table. <laughs> this is so thin. I like this. I like this, though. Does this one have it? No, this is it. And I like these kind of zippers on the, you know, where they're like a quarter way down. But if you wanted to do something on the back, then that would be in the way. But I guess whatever you fancy. Um, so tonight we had corned beef. No, Reuben's. And then he took... Um, um, he took the le one of the leftover potatoes, or, oh no, I used all the potatoes. He took the leftover potatoes. Uh, any newbies will love Tracy. She's very talented and creative and informative, and she is not a glitter fan. <laughs> thank you. That sums up my life. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, my wish in life is just to inspire. Like, if I could bottle that crap up, man, oh, that would be, I know that's loud and annoying. Uh, you found me, Trisha. Ah, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I want to do the mold, but they're just not quite dry enough. Um, so he took the potato and like made it into a potato pancake. And I had applesauce on the side for mine, and he had um, sour cream. My God, it was, it was so good. It sounds like a weird combination, but it was like a party in your mouth. It was, it was, it was delicious. It was delicious. All right, why are we all? Oh. That's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem, see that? So when we go to ink, all right, so we're gonna have to do, I'm I was gonna do the barn, I was gonna do this guy and um, the farm animals. These are A-Maker Studio. I do have an affiliation link with them. My website, I don't know if it's in the description or not. I don't know if that auto-populates or I gotta do it later, but it's scrappiesrustics.com. And I in the menu area, I have all my affiliates listed just cause it's easier. And uh, a maker studio. If you need a code, if they offer a discount, then it should be written right next to it. I don't think they offer a discount. Um, we're gonna do them in red. We're gonna do them in red. So uh, let's see if we can get around this thingy. Um, I really should have ironed this. Let's see if we can get around this guy. These have been used. I do have a. No, I don't want to do it that way. Let's do it. I'm not gonna stack these because th they're they're kind of weird. To, they're not very stackable. Oh, they're not stackable. Um, let's do this. And I've done this in the past. Let's do all four corners. Something like that. Something like that. Now where are we on the? Yeah, dang. Well, so it's got to go above that thing. I guess that's okay. And then these will just have to, well, that looks stupid, huh? Ah, that looks stupid. I should grab the other pillowcase. Will this one work? Hold up. Will this one work? This one might be our better option. And if that's messed up, that's okay. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. What the heck? What the heck? We're going to use this Wicked Red. This is um, ink. Uh, we did test in the past. You can use chalk paste um, just like we're doing here you can heat set it I washed it uh, I did a tea towel actually I did it around Easter I just came across it I should have grabbed it um, I sell the um, the redesign by Prima chalk paste and um, how are pillows going how are the pillows going to sit they're probably just gonna be thrown on the the we got a bunch of patio furniture it's in a cupboard like screened in I don't know however they, they're gonna have to sit however we However we ink this, they're going to sit that way. So I don't know. Uh, uh, so I washed it because I did, people were saying you could do it. I heat set it. I washed it. It was fine. It worked out fine. However, I don't know how many times you can wash it. But the inks, um, plus with the inks, you have more open time, meaning you can move your product around a lot faster. Where the, the chalk paste, that stuff, that stuff uh, hardens up pretty quick. All right. So I'm just going to put that right in the middle. If that's wonky, I don't really care. I don't really care. That's too low. Let's just go right here. Right here. Yo, this is like the cheapest fabric. Y'all, I'm like a fabric snob. I like, I can appreciate a good fabric, and this is junk. This, this is definitely junk. I wish I could remember where I got these. Dang it. All right, this is not very sticky either. Where's that bump? Where's that bump? I love this. 
I love this transfer so much that I don't know if it was retire. I don't think it was retiring. Maybe it was retiring or it went on a wicked sale. Sometimes they have some really great sales. So I got another one. <laughs> Same with the farm animal ones. Sometimes you just get a good one. Sometimes you just get a, I don't know. Like, it's like that um, paper I use. Hey, Lori, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all. My hours to you two are getting closer and closer by the day. That makes me so stinking happy. Does anybody know on here, um, I was trying to read it, but I can't really understand. I know once you get, you're able to monetize on YouTube, you get like a slew of um, benefits, like a slew. Um, and y'all, can you believe there's even people to help you? Like, well, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I wish I knew sooner, but you know what? It is what it is and things happen the way they happen. And if they didn't happen this way, then I probably wouldn't know any of you. So this is great. I'm just trying to push this down because you see what it's trying to do. Um, and I don't have a very steady hand at all. I like twitch and do all this dumb stuff. So I put tape where I think I might get on my fabric, which is usually almost everywhere. Like this, I can clear that. No problem. That, <laughs> no problem. But that, no, this, no, no, not happening. Not, I'm not that graceful. Um, I want to start, I'm going to start April 1st, as of now, a subscription group. And um, I know you can do it on Facebook. It's going to be through my website, but obviously we need somewhere to communicate with one another. Um, I don't know if YouTube has the ability. I don't know why it wouldn't. Why couldn't we go live? Like, I think there's private. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows. Like, I'm trying to Google it, but it's not really making sense to me. And I don't get to know all that information until I become monetized. And then it kind of reveals it all to me, if that makes sense. Um, because I would love to do that. Because it's obviously more stable, you know? Okay, so that's down. Looks a little crooked, but I'm not moving it. We are going to use... What's the name of this? Bless his heart. Bless his heart. I can't stand when you call a customer service and you can't understand... Oh boy, that's terrible. Well, how about Facebook? There's no customers, nothing, zero. You can't talk to anybody. I can't even, I haven't been able to report, like I get trolls, like I just got one. That's why it took me so long to go live because you know it's one when the same person's name, oh, hey, beautiful, you know, <laughs> keeps popping up as a, a notification. I used to be able to report the user and you know, what is it, spam and this and that. Then I would ban them, then I'd delete it. Um, but now when I hit report, it just sits there in a gray box. I've been reporting that all week. It's not fixed. It's not fixed. I'm going to go, I'm going bold and I'm going red. I know this will look better black, but I'm going buck wild and going red. The fabric I ordered is red-ish like this. Um, so we'll see. Oh, I haven't used this in a minute. Um, so there's that. And because this is in the tube, it, if it gets air in there, it, it does that. So I don't want it to go on my surface. So I'm going to do it off to the side. I don't think I'm doing any tricks over here or anything because I'm not, I'm not tricky like that. Actually, can you see? Can you see? <laughs> Whoa, looks like lipstick. Whoa. Whoa, this is wicked red. Oh, oh, I got a little thing of water over here. That's not going to fit in there. Oh dear, I should have filled it up more. I got a thing of water to stick my transfer in when I'm done, but I only got that much water in a, in a thingamabob. All right, so I got my product on here. I could squirt it on here too, but again, does that. That's the con of those containers, but the plus is this stuff never dries out where you have the, every other brand is in a little, you know, container with a lid and it tends to dry out. All right, so I'm going to kind of go on a 45 and I'm pushing it in and working it down at the same time. You see how I went off the, if I didn't have that tape there. I still might have it. I mean, I don't know if I went close, close enough. Oh, there's, oh, I thought I went farther down on the lump. Oh, well, going over the lump. Hang on. Whoa, speed bump. Whoa, speed bump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See how smooth the, uh, the ink is. The ink is just nice, just nice and smooth. That was not a lot of ink we used either. And, uh, but the, it just, the open time is much longer than the chalk paste because I think it has oils in it to be honest with you but I'm not 100% sure so I'll let this dry overnight and um I will heat set it in the morning and I will or not in the morning because I don't get up early my morning 
I'll put some parchment paper on there and um, my iron on hot or high cotton. And they say two to three minutes, but what does that really mean? I mean, if we're if we're just doing this, you know, this rooster, we're not going to do this whole rooster for two or three minutes. You know what I mean? Like, so just use your judgment. I usually go over and I burn them. <laughs> I, I go over a little too much. Um, so just use your judgment. And the heat is what makes it washable and locks that ink in. Um, same thing could be done with... Oh, I could have stamped these. Same thing could be, <laughs> be done with IOD Indian ink. Wow, that didn't go too far, did it? That was weird. So, yeah, there's that. Y'all, I still got to make four more curtains and a shower curtain. <laughs> we got an uh, extra long shower curtain, so I got a drop cloth. I'm going to have to glue it together and hope it doesn't fall apart with that fabric glue. Hope it doesn't fall apart when the bathroom gets steamy because you can't find, I can't find, I can find the extra, lar extra long plastic ones, you know, like the liner, but you can't find the, um, you know, like a nice shower curtain. So I want the general store one like I had at the old house. I love that thing. Love it. Love it. Just make my bathroom complete. Okay. That's good. So make sure you don't have any junk on your fingers because if you go to do this and you touch your surface and you get ink on it, you'd be mad. Oh, look at that. I might have missed. Oh, how close. Eighth of an inch. Oh, eighth of an inch. We would have had red on there. All right. Big reveal. Oh, yeah. Bona put. No, what does that say? It does not say Bona Petite. I'm going to put this in my little, little bit of water <laughs> over here. Uh, the best I can. I'm going to fold it and hope that was a good idea. Oh my God, it doesn't even fit in that way. All right, well, it's better than nothing. Oh, geez. I got to get the other ones in there too. Oh, what are you going? Oh, I missed it. That's the only thing I, I got to, I got to spruce up my skills with um, YouTube here. The comments come up and fade really fast. Come up and fade really fast. Let's do one over here. Over here. Um, what am I going to do with it? Is that what somebody asked? I don't know. It's a patio. It's a patio. It's going to go on the patio. This is like the cheapest cheapest material I've ever felt in my life, but it's super cute, right? That is adorable. Oh, over here. I love it. I love that sheep. She's good. This ink will stay wet for a while. So I usually, like I said, I usually just let them sit overnight. And, um, hey, Cindy, you like, the, I like the red too. It's not like fire engine red or candy apple red. It's like, it's like the Republic red. <laughs> All right, here's the nice one. This is nice. And this won't take long. These are quick, y'all. If you haven't done these, these are so simple. These are amazing gifts because you can literally customize these any way you want. I mean, you could put the person's name on there. Um, you could do this with these with stamps. I mean, I, if I were to do a gift, I would do this $10 pillow. And then if you already own this stuff, I mean, that's a pretty good gift for uh, 10 bucks. I mean, you have to pay for this stuff, but you already paid for it, so it doesn't count anymore, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. All right. Look, we even got four. Look at this one. Gave us four. Um, Mary! Mary, Mary. Why are you bugging? Thank you. It gave us four things, so we know what's up. I did this. Uh, look when I reported the last book. <sighs> That's all I read. That's all I could read. <laughs> um, I did the Santa face in green and red in the four corners it came out really cute that was last year maybe two years ago should we do it like that or do we go like that could go anyway i don't know why i feel like the little guy should be up here but he is oh so it's so it's freezing here in florida right 37 low tonight and tomorrow that is supposed to warm back up so we have two tiny baby turkeys a couple weeks old and then we have six other, we have two turkins, <laughs> two, um, good Lord, they're black chickens. I uh, can't remember the name of them. And then two just chickens. Uh, so we wanted to uh, see how the babies would do with it because they're not that old either. They're like maybe, maybe five weeks old. I'm not even exactly sure. So they're a few weeks older than them. They got their feathers. 
So we had we made a little pen on the porch and we put a couple of them together today. They were so cute because we had the heater out there and the heat lamp and the little baby turkeys were like up underneath the other one's wings. So it was really cute. I got a picture, but I couldn't get video because the radio was blaring and I couldn't reach it because I couldn't get over the I couldn't get over the the fence he made for the to keep the tur the to keep them all in. I couldn't leap it. All right, that's what we're doing right there. Okay, again, I'm gonna have to tape off where I'm gonna get wonky. Ever since I hurt my shoulders, like if I try to do something real, like like. It's embarrassing is what it is like real intricate like sometimes they'll jerk like I don't have any control over it it's it's quite, rather annoying there's no, I don't know how to fix it I don't know how to fix it but there's really nothing that I know of that is worse than a shoulder injury my gosh it's like the worst pain I've ever had in my life for the law for so long it just long long three three and a half years it took to, for because it, it froze and it literally took three Oh, three and a half years to unthaw, and it's still not right. I mean, it's so much better. I'm not complaining, but oh, man, that sucked. That was terrible. That was terrible, terrible, terrible time in my life. That's why, another reason why I appreciate it every day. Every day. Every day is a gift. Yep. So. Oh, oh, you broke your shoulder. Oh. So I don't, I don't, I've never, I've never been a good healer. Like, even like if I get a cut, like, I just, I never have been a, I don't know if it's circulation. I don't know, but I never have been a good healer. And I always seem to end up with scar tissue. Um, yeah, no, they're warm. They're so cute, Mary. Um, just, I don't know. So they wanted to, um, so I, it, to it was torn, um, but then it froze. And that, oh my God, was that painful. But um, you don't realize how many things you do when you can't use it. Holy crap. Um, I feel like those should go in. But anyways, uh, the one thing that helped me with the pain was therapy. And I remember going, broke her shoulder, had four. Oh, that's what they wanted to do. And I don't know if you've ever seen the procedure on frozen shoulder. Oh my goodness. It's so barbaric. I was like, there is no way. There is no way you're doing that to me because my luck is... Uh, it'll heal and it'll be scar tissue and it's going to be worse than we started. So no thanks. But the only thing that gave me relief was therapy. And I remember, I remember going there. I'm taping these off again because I know it's a waste of time, but I have to do it or I'm going to, it's not even worth doing because I'm going to have a big smudge where I don't want it. Um, I remember, I, you couldn't even look at it. I was like, don't look at it. I, I think just it wore it down and then uh, we were doing something and my husband took a corner and the dog went flying and the cooler went flying and I like reached over in the back seat and like I felt it I felt it but I, I think it was a thing that just that was what kind of tore it in a sense um, it was kind of worn down and uh, yeah I didn't do any crazy sport no barroom fight nothing like that just pretty lame story save the dog from a cooler <laughs> actually I don't even think I saved him I think it ended up hitting him anyways um well look how close that one is but i remember you couldn't even look at it and i thought oh, I, I was like in tears telling her i'm like it hurts so bad and she's like i know she was really cool i just ripped a tiny piece off again and um she was like ever so slightly uh you broke your stock in trash oh my goodness <laughs> that's not funny but it is funny and um, I couldn't believe when I left there. I mean, she didn't do much. She kind of just moved it. And uh, I couldn't believe the relief that I had just from that little bit of movement. Like, I would have never believed that one in a million years. So I couldn't wait to go. And then I got my stuff to bring to work and home. And um, uh, at any time, you know, it hurt, which was all the time. I, I did it faithfully a couple times a day. I had a, see, now I got a whole roll of tape invested here. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going rogue on this one over here, I guess. I guess I can trust myself over here. I don't know why, but... All right, here we go again. Uh, I have to make up a really badass story. That's hilarious. Hilarious. All right, let's see if we can do this without getting it all over the place. Janet! My friend Janet! Welcome! Thanks for YouTubing it with us. Where... 
YouTube gives us more love than other places. <laughs> oh, gotta stop talk, talking smack. I got a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but a good amount, couple of pre-records. I gotta get edited. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna get my door wall hung up. I got, I got stuff to do, y'all. I got stuff to do. Our living room is still in chaos. I guess I'm just gonna leave that on. I probably should take it off. Um, I guess I'll just keep going since I got ink on my my thingy. My thing. My thingy's got inky. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna put some all on there. So these are A Makers Studio. I love their transfer stencils because I just like their style. I like their style of. Um, they're not so, uh, uh, well, some of them are cheesy. Let's just put it that way. Some of them are cheesy. Um, some some brands have a lot more cheesy stuff where I think I like, I just like their style at A-Maker Studio, if that makes any sense. I like their style. Now, some of the other brands have some good ones. Don't get me wrong. But I think they're good quality. Um, I just, I like them. I like them way much. Now, you don't want to leave like lines on these because believe it or not when you pull this thing off you'll actually see them ask me how i know that because <laughs> uh i failed oh remodel our dang it missed it i know if you remodel anything because we've been through with it you trash the entire house like how does that happen how does that why why does that happen you do something to one room and the whole house is destroyed <laughs> like why what the heck I mean, I know things need to look ugly before they're pretty, but good Lord. So if you guys are wondering why we're not doing our molds, I'll show you. They're not quite dry yet, believe it or not. I mean, that's a lot of clay, um, but I'm surprised they're actually not drier than they are. They're very cold and um, they're just not dry. Just not dry. Try to wait it out, but so we'll do that our next live. I don't know what we're going to do to them yet. I mean, we could go so many more levels deep with it, but I mean, they're just going to hang on the, on the shed. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, fine, dust everywhere, <laughs> All right? Oh, our old house was so dusty. I don't care what the heck we did. I mean, I'm going nonstop today and get, oh, yeah, but it feels so good when you get it done. Oh, it feels so good. Such accomplishment. Um. We even had like the, the air ducts cleaned and the uh, air purifiers and the good filters. And I would dust and the next day or that afternoon when the sun hitting the one thing that's right way, just a layer of dust. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, what the heck, man? It's like a never ending battle. I used to be like real like OCD about having a really neat house. Oh, and then I realized um, this is stupid because we're not dirty people. Oh, I got another troll, Robert Martin. Mart I see him. He's he's commenting to you guys on one of my posts. Um, you know, we're not dirty. Like it's just messy. It's not dirty. So we just give the house a good clean once a week. <laughs> Because, I mean, I was trying to, like, have the house vacuumed and especially having all those kids. Good Lord. It's like an endless battle. I was wasting my life cleaning. That's dumb. Took me a minute to realize that, though. But once I did, I was like, oh, see what just happened there, which is okay. But I want I don't want to put this tape in the water. Robert, if you can hear me over there on Facebook, stop bugging my people. <laughs> stop bugging my people. Please. I mean, what's their point? Why do they do that? So annoying. Well, I guess I better get these in the water. Because the big trick to keeping these, to be able to use them over and over and over again, is see how you, all that see-through part, as long as you keep those clean, um, you can keep using them. If those get clogged, the screens, and then they just kind of get junky on you. I'm gonna put in our little, very little tub of water. Very, very, very little. But like I said, it's better than nothing. And they can stay in there until I'm ready to clean them. I got 
a red a red dye. Maybe I could do some tie dye with the red over there. It's kind of a, looks like Kool Aid. Hey, Kool Aid. So tomorrow I'll heat set these. I'll slather them in a bath of fabric Mod Podge. Um, just because I don't want to waste my Pentart textile, I know that will work, and I know that will make them washable. Um, if these were going in the living room, then I would do that. Um, Capri Sun, I had two today. I got one left in the fridge. I could use it. My throat's kind of dry. <laughs> um, yeah, if these were going in the living room, and I was going to, you know, I would, I would, I would use the Pentart, but... Uh, this material looks as though it's really going to suck up some, uh, the pigs rush, aren't they? It's really going to suck up some product. That guy is still hitting you guys. I bet you he's on my last video because so far since my video ended, uh, he, he makes number four. Sometimes Facebook gets rid of them for me, but usually they don't. Usually they don't. But then I can say... H O Marie instead of H I on accident and get dinged for a violation because I'm calling her a hoe. I didn't mean that. It was supposed to be a hi. Like, I'm not calling her a hoe. I don't even know her. I wouldn't call her a hoe. I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know her. Well, oh, his face got a little um, muddled, but it's okay. Ooh, the sheep are good too. Ooh, sheep are good. All right, in the Kool Aid bath. Everybody in the bath. Everybody in the bath. Y'all, I finished. I, I'm not very happy with that project I did the other night. It's kind of, it's missing something. Looks like I threw it in the dirt or something. I don't know. Like, I'll show you. I got it hanging on the wall here. Um, in the event. I had like 95% of it done. So I felt pretty good about that. I felt pretty good about that. All right. So, here. oh, I never put anything in the middle of this one. Oh, it didn't go through. I got lucky. I mean, wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered anyways, right? These are pretty good. Pig's good. Look at the sheep. Look at the shadowing on the sheep. Come on, Robert, quit it. Ooh, the cow's pretty good, too. That's cute. That's cute. Almost need, like, a bullseye in the middle. <laughs> bullseye in the middle. So here's what we did earlier. This is what we we're going to do. We we're going to finish antiquing these. Um, you got one. Oh, report him. Tell him to... I'll get him when I get off of here. But I ended up painting it with some decor, just this gray. Um, because it takes so long to paint it. Like, oh, they're still dry. They're still, I mean, they're still wet. Like, really wet. Wetter than I thought they would be. Maybe because it's so cold out. Yeah. You can feel they're cold, ice cold. That's usually an indication that they're still, um, they're, they're still, they're a little bit pliable. Not bad, but they're not dry enough to, um, to get the wax going in there. So here's... I don't know. It's still missing something, but I added the bow. I added some little dried flowers in this sari silk. I put that little antique button like thing there and then a small, they were gold, but I, I don't know if you can tell they were gold, but I painted a like dry brush on pink and then put some, um, uh, dark, dark, uh, wax over it. So, but the, the mold itself is so pretty. Like the details are sick. That's that, um, Zuri mold metal flowers or something like that i don't know something like that come on robert he's getting sandy he's getting sandy now um so yeah so there's that um so that didn't take long i think the bird is throwing some the bird yeah the bird should never been there the bird should have flown right off that page he's like dark and and i don't know I don't know. It's just, I mean, it is what it is. I, I did add, I did go around and add some pink and white, try to soften it up a little, but it's, it's all right. I mean, it's okay. I mean, like I said, you can't love them all. Oh, you can't love them all. Y'all, I want to do these so bad, but I can't, I can't. Um, you want to see a sneak peek of something kind of cool? It's not done though, so don't judge me. So I got to finish it, but it's drying right now, so it has to be very gentle. Y'all ready? <laughs> Look, she's sleeping. I put egg, uh, HDF stuff with one of those rusty birds I had from a picture. 
and decoupage that. And I got one of the, y'all, I can't find these clear things. I got round ones coming in the mail, but you can, I can't find these this year. And then the, the bigger ones that I have, like a ding dong, I spray painted them last year. A um, little bit bigger ones, but this is just the front of the egg. But isn't that cool? I'm going to do stuff around the edges. I don't know if I'm going to do clay yet because I don't have a lot of room in some spots. But um, I think that's really neat. Something different. It's a bird in a bubble. <laughs> a bird in a bubble. I know. So now my mind's like, oh. So I got some like different size, like the Christmas bowls that come apart that way. Um, and then some of the flatter ones. So now my mind's really going. And you know what kind of inspired me too is there's that decoupage paper. It's the fairy and she's looking up and it's at a bubble. Um, yeah, that's the, the front of the egg. Oh, Amazon has the, well, I, like I said, I'm, I'm moving on to circles now. I have some Christmas ornaments that I've had hanging in the bag at my old, in my old shop, same place forever. Now I need them. I have no idea where they are. Robert is not giving up. This is the other half of it. So that was the front. We went to Walmart. We went to Dollar General. They have colored eggs. They have a lot of eggs that come off the other way. Um, but now just thinking round, do those year rounds, right? So we could put anything, either a 3D object or a decoupage paper, molds around it. I mean, more than one. So I think, how about a snowman? That would be kind of cool too. Like 3D, yeah. Like I feel like we can go do a lot of things with that that style of. So I'm testing out um, the the heavy body gel. I've been using that a lot for glue, and um, that's what I glued the bird on with. Cause he's heavy. He's um he's from a picture I had, and I broke all the birds off. But he's heavy. Um, I don't know what he's made of, but he's got some weight to him. And I I used a heavy body gel because it said it's good for metal, adhering metal for your mixed media projects. And then I also did it around the egg. Uh, the heavy but I put a weight on it and let it sit but we'll see <laughs> we'll see but all right you guys thank you so much for being here um I gotta go take care of Robert Robert um I don't know if we'll be on tomorrow but when I'm on next we're gonna finish up these stinking what are these called I still can't remember hollows what is the this mold oh I don't have it here with me I washed them I should know this toadstool Happy Hollow? No. Thank you, Lord. What is it called? Look at the details though. I can't wait to put some, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe a paint wash? Uh, see you soon, folks. Hidden Hollow, Hidden Hollow. I haven't seen clear eggs on Amazon. Um, sphere ideas. Yes, so I've got the, I got round ones coming and then the flatter round ones that open that way. Yeah, that way, yeah. <laughs> you, you know the way. <laughs> Not this way, that way, that way. Hidden Hollow. Woo! Sandy Roberts with the win. Thank you, my friend. Good Lord, Robert. He's got Cheryl Miller now. Um, I was going to tell you guys something else. I can't remember. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here on YouTube with me and with us. And uh, I look forward to growing our YouTube family. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Oh, there's Robert in the way. <laughs>